think that you're a male or if you think that you're a female, that matters more than the biological difference. Then how do you know the difference between men and women? By what people think they are. So you can't like judge someone just on like their looks. I don't think there's any one way to really distinguish between a man or a woman, and I don't think it's necessary. What would you say I am? Just judging off of your looks, I would say that you're a male. Do you think the difference between men and women matters for any reason? Uh, no, not really. But would you, you argue have, that love is Do you nature? have the right to kill somebody? No, absolutely not. So then, so you're pro-life? No. You should be pro-life. How can you be both pro-life and pro-death? Because see, this is our key How could something that's dead actually grow? If you said you weren't alive in your mother's womb... I never womb, said it was dead. I'm saying it's in a stasis. Is it growing? Yes, but it's not. So it's alive. No. Do you that I was a woman, what would your response be? Good for you. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. If I told you that I was Chinese, what would your response be? I mean, I might be a little surprised, but I would say, good for you. Like, yeah, be who you are. <laughs> if I told you that I was seven years old, what would your response be? If you feel seven at heart, then <laughs> then so be it. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> if I told you I'm six feet, five inches, what would you say? That I would question. Why? <laughs> because you're not. <laughs> no, I don't think you're six foot five. So I can be a Chinese woman. You... <laughs> um, sure. But I can't be a six foot five Chinese woman. What? So does anyone have the choice to kill a baby? Is that a legitimate choice? They have a choice. Women have a choice to end a pregnancy. And yes, what, they do. And what is a pregnancy? It's not a baby. It's not? No. What is, what is it then? It is a, it's a little thing, like a little nut. <laughs> a little it's baby. not, it cannot survive outside the womb. So were you a nut? Yes, at one point I was. You were a nut. And, and I grew into something more. And right. I am... So when did your life begin? When I exited my mother's womb. That's when my life began. A baby that's born prematurely is not a baby? The baby is born. That baby is outside the womb. So what is it? Living before, on its own. Before birth, what is it? It is a fetus. Is it human? Is it a human fetus? Most of the time it's human. Oh, so sometimes it's not? Oh, so irritating. You people are so irritating. I can't stand it. I can't. If you felt like your name was Susan, you wanted to be a woman, would you be a woman and your name is Susan? Really? So, so let's say. I feel beautiful that day. I'm so, going to go and so do it. So let's say that the next day you wake up and you're like, oh, wait, I feel like an orangutan. So you're going to go to your classroom and say that you're an orangutan that day? You're feeling. That's now really stretching. But yes, no, because it's a feeling if, you, if, you, if it's a feeling, then, and you said it does change your nature, then that should be lost. So you would be in a regular If we really want to go into extremities, sure, we could. I woke up this morning and said, that flag pole to me today is a gingerbread house. Would that make it a gingerbread house, yes or no? Perception is reality. In your perspective, it can be a gingerbread house. That's the thing. Perception is, is right reality. Or wrong? If I say you're Michelle Obama, does that make you Michelle no, Obama? I'm gonna scream. I'm allowed to scream. I can raise my voice as loud as I want to. And your views are garbage. Why are you eating it yes, if you disagree with it? I don't you. understand. That's exactly how this Paris. Your religion doesn't exist anymore. It's gonna die out within 30 years. You f***ing DJ. Kill yourself. And I don't have to act my age. And by not acting my age, I don't have to deal with the reality that was my past. I don't have to think about adult stuff. I still drink coffee and drive a car, right? Even my tractor, but I still drive the tractor as a little kid. I drive my car as a little kid. What does this have to do with abortion? Because y'all over our community as well. You don't understand. It's all just like a, the way you link everything. You're like, oh, hey, anti-abortion, anti-LGBT. It's all like the anti-abortion argument came from like a political link. Where they're like, hey, let's have, like, 
We want people to, like, you can't tell me why he has a transgender flag at a pro-abortion rally. Yeah, what's transgenderism happening? Trying to figure out how that is. Should a Christian florist have the freedom to discriminate against a gay couple that want the florist to participate in a wedding? No. No, I don't think so. No. Do you believe that a Muslim print shop owner should be allowed to discriminate against a customer who wants to print a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad? Oh, I just got tricked. Uh... Yes. Yeah. That's so, I don't know. It's do you, think so there's, you think there's some inconsistencies in who you allow to discriminate and not allow to discriminate? Yeah. Should an LGBT catering company be allowed to discriminate against Westboro Baptist Church? You no, know that. So you believe in promoting freedom through a dictatorship? No, because yeah. dictatorship is another word for state. That's what we got right now. Communist. We got a dictatorship of finance capital. Communism is always imposed. What's that? Communism, wherever it's been implemented, it's always been imposed. Communism has never been implemented. Through violence. It's never been implemented. Are you, are you for peace? Absolutely. Well, are you for communism? Communism, communism is anti-peace. Oh. It's never been around. Communism never existed. Fidel Castro is a communist. What? Fidel Castro. That doesn't mean uh, he may be a communist, but I'm saying communism as a system has never existed anywhere. Is Che Guevara good or bad? Che Guevara is a good guy. Good guy? Why? Oh! Hey! Get down! Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Aggressive! Oh, oh, oh. Aggressive! Oh, oh. What do you all have in common? We're against abortion, against the murder of the unborn. You're all men. Okay. okay. Do you all hate women? No, of course not. She hates men. We don't hate women. Please being put aborted. that away. It's my camera, my choice. You're not saving any lives. You're just people off. Just have a conversation. What do you want to ask me? What's wrong? You're, you're, you're really freaking me out with all this red. Did you read our literature? I would not even want to touch your literature. So you're not open-minded? I am open definitely open-minded and I think your position is wrong. Why can't we talk about it if you're open-minded? Because I don't think you're, you're worth my time. You're judging us. I am totally judging you. I think you hate women. I think you're misogynist. I'm irritated that you're even here. <laughs> this is my city. I grew up here. I know you're idiots, but like I'm trying to figure out like why. Oh, why? I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out. No, it's not polite. Why are you sharing that up? You disagree wow. with gay marriage or a specific yeah, some type of. You're telling everyone else what to do with their lives, and you are insulting me by telling me that my daughter or my wife or my niece does not have a right to make her own decision. That you are the only one who can make decisions for them. Exactly, they need an abortion, but I was totally planning on getting one. It was You're planning on getting an abortion, huh? You think it's for fun? Do so you yeah, think you fine. think having and killing babies is fun? If you want to put it that way, I'm saying that it's unreasonable for men to talk about women's rights. So then you don't have a say. Y'all are men. Y'all don't know what it's like to be women. I don't either. That's why I'm not out here talking. Do you know what it's like to be an aborted baby? You know what that's like? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, not really a fan. I kind of don't agree with any of these points. Um, our deadliest war, I don't think human life is that precious, so I don't really care if that many people die. Right to that because I have a right to my body and I have a right it's, to my own it's opinion. It's not your body, it has its own separate DNA. From the moment of it's conception. It's in her body. But it's in my body. She doesn't want to use her body to house a human being, no, then she has the right. It's, it's a separate human being.